Welcome to this video, KTSU of City Stand Center, the specialist in technical training in the automotive trade. Today I'm going to present to you the um, operating principle of the reverse light circuit, that is the standard reverse light circuit of the motor vehicle, as well as the operating principle of the medium operating stop light circuit in three limbs, which is also a standard type of equipment that we find in one of the The base light circuit, the function of the base light circuit is to indicate where the road is behind, that the vehicle is moving backwards. This will also help those behind the motor vehicle to approach it with caution. The major functions, the major components of this system are the battery, the fuse, the reverse light switch and the lamps in the rear. Operating principle is quite simple. Current flows from the battery to the fuse, but for the system or for the lamps to come on, it requires that the driver engages the vehicle into the reverse gear. So we do have a reverse light switch which will connect the lamps as soon as the driver engages the uh, the vehicle into the reverse gear, current can now flow to the lamps, then they will shine the white light, which is a well uh, recognized signal uh, by all drivers uh, that the vehicle is now moving backwards. Now let's look at the relay operator stop line segment in three lanes. The the function of the stop light circuit is to indicate the road users behind that the vehicle is coming down to a stop or slowing down. The major components of this system are of course the battery, there is the relay itself, there is the stop light switch, there is a fuse there and three lamps. For the lamps to come on, it requires that the driver step onto the brake pedal and connect the, connect the relay to ground. And this will then connect power direct from the battery to the lamps. Then the lamps will normally shine in the red light. Generally speaking, it is expected by the law that the lamps, these lamps should be 21 watt lamps and should, should, should be of a a color date. Now, in understanding of the layout of both circuits uh, helps you, the electrician, to come up with a correct diagnosis of what may need to be attended to in a particular what, or a particular vehicle where a fault has been reported. Just as a guideline, when it comes to the reverse light circuit, there are things which are likely to go wrong, which are probably a battery is flat, it could be a blown fuse, it could be failure of the switch. All these, com all these components may fail to an extent where these lamps may, may not come on whenever the, you know, whenever the, uh, the vehicle is engaged into the reverse gear. Of course, we are not excluding open circuits as well as loose connections at any point within the circuit. Those can also cause total failure of the system. Referring to this system now, failure of the battery, flat batteries, failure, relay failure, the blown fuse, switch failure, as well as Blown lamps are common causes of failure within a real operating stop time circuit. So, as an electrician, you should use your specialist instruments, that is the test light as well as the um, mount meter, to identify the point at which maybe we have an open circuit or, of course, excessive resistance which may compromise the performance of a given circuit. Then you fix the problem so that you restore the uh, system back to its original condition. Thank you. See you next time.